Hey there, your boy Ricky back once again. I got a nice little tutorial for you now. It's a great tip, a great trick, whatever you want to call it. Perhaps a lot of uh, some of you already know this, but still I want to show you this because I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know this. So um, let me show you this. I'm gonna take a, a instrument that will uh, that will show uh, that is a real good example. For showing you what I mean. Look like I got a 49 key keyboard in front of me now. So the problem is these are a lot more keys. But the blue ones with the sounds on it. Um, the last key on my keyboard is a C5. You know that's over there. And the first blue one is a C2. So that's no problem. I can reach that too. But the first key on my keyboard is a C1. And that's a problem, because that's that only goes to there. So over this, uh, the red keys, in this case, in action string, they control the phrases. You know, you can switch phrases by pressing one of those keys. So now you can't do that with a 49 keyboard at least. If you have a big keyboard, you would, but <coughs> I don't. <coughs> but remember also, with the other instruments in uh, in contact, even if you have a big keyboard, it can be nice to adjust, you know, to set the keys the way you want. So you got a loop, for example, next to uh, next to a drum, or you know, you can really um, set it up the way you prefer to it to be set up. So this is it's good anyway, even if you got a the big uh, keyboard. <coughs> so let me show you how. Um, are we gonna fix this? Of course you could do an octave down on your keyboard. I'm gonna do that right now. Click octave down. So now, as you can see, you know, I have control. I want you to hear it too. So as you could see, I have control over these now, but the problem now is, if I'm going to press the last key on my keyboard, the C5, hey, it ends over here. So I have no control anymore over these last keys, sounds, keys, whatever you want to call it. So that's not perfect, you don't want that, you want to have complete control, but don't worry, that's possible. And how? Well, let me show you how. First I'm going to change the octave back on my keyboard. So now it's uh, just normal, you know, zero, C5, C2, C1. So you know it's all back to normal. Anyway, here we go. So you want to go into here. And yeah, this I was messing with this before, but we don't need, um, normally when you open it, it won't look like this. You would have by bypass, preset, and I think added right under each other. Yeah, like this. Normally it would, like, would look like this. So um, what you want to do is go to preset, click preset. Uh, you go over factory, you go to transform, and then you go to change keys. So now we are in this module. And um, we're going to leave this one alone because this is the, these are the keys that are gonna trigger these keys in this row. So um, we're gonna change these in order to control the C1. No, let it control the C0. So we're gonna go down. And I'm gonna do them all, all five. In extra strings you can do 10 uh, uh, modules, 10 slots. So you could do 10, but I only did five because this is just an example and um, we don't need to do uh, all that. Whoopsie. Almost done. I hope you got a little bit patience. Well, it only takes a few seconds, so it's worth it. So there we go, now the last one. 
Yeah, I'm seeing a bit blurry because I'm looking at the screen for uh, hours and hours today. I'm having a, a long day. Uh, made a nice track. Well, it's not finished, but <laughs> anyhow, I've been working a lot today. So um, we're done now. Now, as you can see, if I now press C1, it triggers the red. And if I press C5, still pr it triggers uh, the last one. So now I can... As you can see now I have complete control. The C1 is over here and C5 is over there. You can see that look if I press if I go from E1 to F1, E1 over here, F1 over there. So you know we have set those keys. So C1 triggers C0, etc. So yeah, that's the fun part. You can you can change them in every instrument on the way you want it, you know, the way you desire, as I said before. But anyway, now comes the next part. Um, in this case, action strings, you would want to save that. Um, you're going to say like, this is my favorite settings for action strings. Uh, the keys here are all the same, so I don't need a specific name. I would just name them action strings. So you would go to save, save preset. And if you click that, you get you know the ones you have saved so um i show you see so up and you save and wham it's saved um now another thing what you want to do is because if you close this now i you know it's all nice and this and that but let's say um now you're going to play another instrument let's say the rickenbacker uh, bass of the Rick and Becker, I don't know how you pronounce it in English. The problem is now still, you see the E1 over here, these are still triggering the keys I said because now E1 and F1, you know, it jumps to there. So you don't want that. So, in order to um, prevent that, that that don't happen. You're gonna load up a user, uh, you know, a preset, and yeah, you can just name it whatever you want. But you're gonna load, uh, load, save. Sorry, you're gonna save a preset with the standard key range. So you see now it's back to standard. See, C1 only goes to here now. So that's important. To do before you're gonna change the keys it's not that much important because you can also always change it later but it saves you a bit work if the first thing you do is save this one and name it your default or whatever you know i just said it uh, how did i name it change keys i think oh key range yeah key range so but anyway you can call it whatever you want it so and yeah if i now go Back to action strings. Let me close this again. I have done Omni, so I have to close it, or else uh, the, the other uh, instruments plays along with it. I could mute them though, but anyhow, I'm rambling. So if you see here, now the C1 triggers this one. So yeah, real easy now. What, what, what am I gonna do? Go to user, action string 5, and now here you see it triggers them all again. So, as you can see, well, this is a uh, yeah, this works fine. So, I hope you uh, you had some. Uh, good use for this video and you learn something um, yeah I, I think it's pretty uh, useful because um, I almost <laughs> I almost thought like uh, why, why can't I use this all and uh, you know um, I didn't like it very much let's uh, keep it with that but I also knew like there has to be a way 
to get this done so so yeah so um i thought let's share this with you guys so anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button subscribe leave a comment i would uh, very much appreciate that okay well thanks for watching and um i'll see you again later with a uh, with another useful tip or tutorial or overview but um no doubt you will see me again at least <laughs> if you're gonna watch my videos so um yeah ricky woofer out peace y'all